Good afternoon, good evening. Not good evening. Good afternoon, you guys. I just want to hop in and say hi. This is the Pro Prophetic Prayer Academy. It's easier for me to do it on live than try to do it on Zoom. When I do it here, more people have access to it. But I really want to encourage you today. The Lord said to me, a friend of mine used to sing this song called God's Got It All in Control. And the words are, is that God's got it all in control. He held the land back from the sea. And if he can do all of that, surely he can take good care of you and me. I feel like God wants to me and wants me to encourage you that he has everything under control. Hi, sweetheart. And that it doesn't matter what's happening in your life. And I know this is a common message that we hear in the Christian life because there are things that happen in the Christian life, but we're always either going into a storm or coming out of a storm. But I just want to encourage you that the Lord said this storm is not going to kill you. And your response to the storm, he said, speak to the storm. When Jesus was on the on the Sea of Galilee and a storm arose, he began to speak to him and he said, peace, be still. Sometimes we forget that we have the power to control our environment, to control our situations and our circumstances by the words that come out of our mouths. Many times we are speaking, we are, we are declaring our situation over and over and over again, instead of killing it, we are giving it life. And I just feel like God wants you to shift what you are saying. I heard a word, um, this past week by Dr. Bill Winston, and he was talking about, you know, declaring our faith, declaring things that we need to happen, you know, speaking to it, declaring the word of God, he said, but the one thing that's missing in that is some people miss the element of desire. The Bible says that, that he would give you the desires of your heart and that if you would desire a thing that it, he said, whatever you desire, it will come to pass. So I did, I started shifting the way that I spoke to my situations and circumstances, you know, concerning some some financial things I need to take care of. I said, Lord, I desire to take care of these things. I don't only believe that you can take care of them. I desire to take care of them. And you said in your word that whatever I desire, that you would give it to me as long as it was in line with your word and your will. So I want to encourage you today that it does not matter what is happening in your life, good or bad. It does not matter. You have the power to speak to it. You have the power to decree and declare and sometimes we miss that element especially as a prophet you have authority in the spirit realm to command things to cease and desist to command things to come forth and so i decree that everything in your life that has been on delay that has been on hold that it's time for you to command it to come forth in the name of jesus because sometimes Things are delayed because Satan is delaying them. It's just like, you know, the story that we all know. We're all seasoned saints in here. When Daniel said he prayed and God said, I answered you 21 days ago. That is a principle that sometimes things are held up in the spirit realm, sometimes through ignorance, sometimes because there's an open door and or the enemy has gained an occasion or an opportunity to delay it. But I decree that whatever is going on in your life, whatever it is that you need God to do, then you need to speak to that thing right now. Because sometimes we feel like if we're just holding it in our heart, if we're just thinking about it, if we're just meditating on it, that God is going to move. No, God moves by what you say. God moves on his word. He will partner with his word. And that's just not his, that's just not the written word, but the rhema word. And so I want to encourage you that you have authority and and God was dealing with me about storms he spoke to me this morning about that some of you are dealing with a storm and not a long-term storm but an unexpected storm that something that just came up out of nowhere you don't know what happened you thought you had all your ducks in a row you thought everything was under control God said he wants you to speak to that storm don't lose heart don't faint don't get worried don't get frightened. Don't lose your mind. Don't don't get out of control because God said that you have the power to change it. You have the power to reverse engineer it because the storm that has come against you, it is not of the Lord. It is sent by demonic powers and spirits to hinder you, to stop you, to knock you off course. 
But God said he wants you to know that he has heard everything. That he has heard the cry of your heart. That he knows what you're going through. And I know this is a common message. It's not anything revolutionary. It's not anything ultra prophetic. It's just that sometimes in life, we are just going through things that have nothing to do with what we've sown, what we've engaged in. Sometimes things just crop up and show up out of nowhere. And that is the, that's the storm that I'm speaking to speaking to. So I want to really encourage you these um, times that I'm going to do lives. It's really a time of prayer, but I want to set up the set up what we're going to go go to prayer about because I want to hit the target. I don't want to be praying random prayers. I don't want to just be decreeing and declaring things that don't have any have any relevant relevance. We are going to pray in Equala. I see you, Carolyn. I see you. So we're going to go into prayer. You can't pray in the spirit. So Father, we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father, I come against the unexpected storm. I come against the storm that knocked your son or your daughter off course that cause them to lose their balance in the spirit, Lord God. I, I decree that we have authority. I decree that we have power. I decree that we are walking in dominion, Lord. And I declare that no weapon formed against your people is going to prosper. And I hear like the Lord saying, don't let this thing knock you off balance. You have not lost ground. You are not behind schedule. The Holy Spirit said that you are right on time for what he has purposed in your life. Sometimes we think we're behind schedule and and that we're missing God in some type of way. But God God knows the times and he knows the seasons. And he said that we should be like the sons of Issachar that had an understanding of the time and the season. So I hope that this really encourages you. I hope that this um, empowers you and strengthens you to finish your week, your month, your day, your year, and that you have to know that you have dominion and that you have authority. And as a prophet of God, I'm speaking to your mountain. I'm coming in agreement with what you are speaking about your mountain. And I command it to be so in the name of Jesus. God bless you guys. And I love you as always. And have an amazing day. Amen.